Welcome back. Today, we will continue to delve into Python's Music 21 library by exploring how random walks offer intriguing possibilities for composers interested in working with chance and probability. A random walk charts a path comprising a succession of random steps. Imagine standing on a number line whilst blindfolded and on the flip of a coin randomly taking steps to the left or right. After n steps, we might find ourselves at any point along the line, to the left, to the right, or back where we started. This process can easily be applied to generate musical material. For example, we can use a random walk to create a sequence of pitches, with each new pitch randomly moving up or down by a semitone. Let's consider how to encode this within a new Python file. First, we'll import music21 along with Python's random module and define a main function to be called at the bottom of the script. We'll create a random walk represented as a list of numerical values where each subsequent value randomly increments or decrements by a specified step. To do this, we'll create a function called random walk. As arguments, it will require an integer to denote the number of steps to comprise the walk and a starting value specified as a float or integer. We'll create a list to contain the random walk initialized with the start variable. The list will be populated within a for loop. To create a walk of the correct length, we'll use for i in range n steps minus 1, since our list already includes start as the first element. In each iteration, a step variable will be calculated by adding the current index of walk to a random step of minus 1 or 1 to be chosen by the random module's choice function. Each step will be appended to the walk, which is returned after the loop has been completed. In main, we'll create a random walk called myRandomWalk by invoking our function, specifying a length of 16 steps and a zero starting value. A print statement allows us when executing the program to see our random walk presented as a list with each subsequent value randomly increasing or decreasing by one. With the Music21 library, we can now utilize this function to create a musical version of a random walk representing, instead of simple integers, a succession of pitches. We'll create a stream object and define a starting pitch. We can create our random pitch walk with a for loop with for step value in my random walk. We will create a pitch to correspond with each step value. Therefore, within each iteration, we'll use an if statement to check whether the current step value is equal to the random walk's initial value. Where this evaluates as true, we'll define a new pitch variable based on our starting pitch. For cases where this is not true, we'll use an else statement and define new pitch by invoking starting pitch.transpose, specifying pitch value as the number of semitones by which it should be transposed. We can now append a new note to our stream based on the next pitch variable. We'll invoke mystream.show and run the program to see our notated random pitch walk. Having laid out a basic version of this program, we can consider ways to build on it that might lead to more varied and interesting outcomes. One route to achieving greater variation is to introduce the possibility of varying step sizes. This can be accomplished by modifying our random walk function. We will introduce a third argument named possible steps, which should be supplied as a list. For random.choice, we can now replace our previous hard-coded list of minus 1 and 1 with the possible steps variable, enabling us to define any number of custom step sizes. To test this in main, when calling random walk, we'll specify possible steps as minus 2, minus 1, 1 and 2. This creates a random walk that includes both whole tones and semitones in its steps. To refine this further, we could encode the ability to adjust the probability of choosing one step or another. This would offer greater control over the resulting pitch structure, allowing us to create a biased random walk that favours certain intervals over others. We'll add a fourth optional argument to random walk called weights and set it by default to none. The choices function from the random module allows us to optionally define a sequence of weights corresponding to the elements to be chosen. Therefore, we can implement a similar feature in our function by calculating the step variable with walk i plus random dot choices. 
specifying possible steps and weights as arguments. Since the truces function can, if desired, generate multiple random elements, it returns a list. We must therefore specify a zero index to retrieve the element inside the list instead of the list itself. When calling random walk in main, we'll specify a list of weights containing one, one, two and one. We have now assigned a greater weight to the choice of one to create a biased random walk that favors an ascending semitone. Consequently, this will likely generate a sequence of pitches that generally ascends. We might also want to set upper and lower limits for our walk to confine the pitches generated within a specified range. To achieve this, we'll introduce yet another argument to random walk named boundaries, which should be specified as a list containing upper and lower limits and will again have a default value of none. Within the function, after initializing a step, we'll use a while loop to ensure this value falls within the specified bounds. We'll check whether boundaries have been specified with while boundaries and check whether the step variable is lesser than the lower value by indexing into boundaries with zero or greater than the upper value by using an index of one. Step will be regenerated until this no longer evaluates as true, signifying that the value falls within the specified bounds. In main, we'll call random walk with boundaries of minus six and six, representing in the context of chromatic pitches six semitones below and above the starting position to confine our walk to the range of a single octave. We have now designed a program that allows us to easily define step sizes and their probabilities along with upper and lower boundaries to create a random walk of chromatic pitches. Let's now explore how we can further refine our code to produce a random walk within a specific musical scale. We'll make use of Music 21's scale module to do this. At the top of main, we'll initialize an octatonic scale object. As before, we'll check whether the step value variable is equal to the first element in my random walk. Where this is not true, we'll define next pitch by invoking octatonic scale dot next pitch. With this method, we can define an origin pitch and retrieve a new pitch object that is a specified number of scale steps away from it. We'll originate from starting pitch and use the step value variable to determine the number of steps. Recall that we previously defined the boundaries variable of the random walk function with minus six and six to confine our pitch sequence to a single octave, but our walk will now be interpreted in scale steps instead of semitones. Therefore, in the context of an octatonic scale, we should redefine boundaries with minus four and four to maintain our single octave range. Running the program confirms that we have created a new random pitch walk based on an octatonic scale. We could continue to build on our program by applying random walks more broadly to sets of pitches or other musical properties like rhythm and harmony. Parameters such as possible steps could vary over time. We could generate music by jumping randomly between multiple simultaneous walks or explore more complex algorithms such as a self-avoiding random walk whereby a particular position is never revisited. Let me know in the comments below if you have other ideas or leave feedback, thoughts and suggestions for other future topics related to Python, Music 21 and creative coding. Please show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel and thank you for watching.